Hello, Adam Bazaljad here from Scratch Golf Academy. Today, let's look at two of the best chipping drills I know. And we're going to take you through a couple of things that are going to help you because you need body when you chip. That gives you control, but you don't want to be totally rigid or you'll have no feel. These two drills are going to help with that. In the final segment, I'll show you a nice way to work on the problem of either stabbing at the ball too much, chunking it, or thinning and scooping it. Just briefly, if you're new to this channel, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. Helps us bring you more free content. Also, next time at the App Store, check out Scratch Golf Academy. Our app has all sorts of fun training tools, fun stuff that'll help you improve your game and enjoy the process. Fairly simple little pitching wedge shot there. Here's the first drill. Take a sweater and toss it behind your back. And what you're going to do is let the sleeves hang down and just tuck those under your arms you are going to have a lovely sensation then of this connection and the increased awareness of using your torso a little bit. That's what we want to do. Use the torso more, the arms and wrists less. So as I make a stroke here, again, I can really feel that. I must have held that first shot. I don't see it now. But this is a great drill, a soft connection. Don't get tight and stick your arms in there. Just notice how the sleeves feel inside up, up against your ribs. Our next drill is also designed to foster body movement, but with a little bit of a difference, and that is to get some feel and softness. Take your trail hand, choke all the way down on the grip, and put your, upper, your other hand up supporting your bicep like this, or supporting the top of your arm there, and start to make some little practice strokes there. You'll get a feeling for not only how you literally have to move your body, it's almost impossible to chip just doing that, how you need some movement, but how you'll feel that important part of a little bit of softness and play in the club. You need a little bit of that rhythm to chip well. Make sure you have a good lie for this drill as well. No target particularly. Just popping it out there. Hit some shots like that, then go back to two-hand. It's a great way to look at it. Let's look at our two ways to combat problems then that you might see if you stab too much or you scoop too much. So if your propensity is to get too much stab and chunk shots like that, hopefully not that bad, but if you're a bit of a chunker and a stabber, here's what I want you to do. Get a nice cushion lie, so the ball's sitting up on top of it. Let me move that over a bit. Make a few practice strokes until the club is just brushing the ground, just brushing the top of that cushion grass and just gliding through there. No sticking in the ground at all. You should notice as you go through that approximately the handle of the club would be looking about at your middle there when you finish, not sort of down this way. Then hit yourself a couple of little shots and you start to get the feeling for letting the club catch up to the hands a little bit so it brushes more. Now, if you're in the other category, if you're one of these type of golfers that uses a lot of hands and skulls a lot of shots like that, we don't want to get you tight, but we want to get you on a tighter lie like that and practice being at least a little firmer. So in this case, we want you to hit some shots where you have a very short finish. It's only a chip. The handle will probably feel slightly more ahead of your tummy, not drastically. We're still trying to be relatively level at the bottom. We're not trying to chop down, but get in the habit of being able to hit a couple of shots with a very short, firm, crisp sort of finish, at least until you dial the problem out. I think that'll make it go away. Leave a question or a comment below. I hope these tips are helpful for you.